Men hate being lost. It just bothers us. Plus, we always think we're going to figure it out even if we are lost. Even if we don't know where we are, we think, I'm going to figure it out. I can figure it out wherever I am. At least, that's what we think. It doesn't always turn out that way. But you know, we try. But what about our life? Have you ever asked yourself, where am I in my life? Where am I going on my journey? What, what is it all about as a man? Let's talk about that today. Hey guys, I'm David Maxwell, men's coach. I call the life that we live uh, as men a journey. Actually, I prefer the term, it's an adventure. You see, our life is an adventure, but not too many men are living one. They're kind of missing out on it. They're so busy with their head down and they're doing the grind and they're providing and they're doing all of that, that they miss out on a big part of their own adventure. They miss out on the full adventure that their life could be. Men are not the simpletons that TV sitcoms portray and that we see all over the place. That so frustrates me. Men are complex, they're deep, and there's a lot more to them than even they realize. As men, we each have an adventure we could be living, and we need to look at the realities of where we're at on our adventure. Okay, the first reality we need to look at is if we have stopped. You see, many men have stopped living their adventure, but I don't actually blame them I understand. They didn't quit as much as they just got beat down by life. Maybe things didn't go their way. Now, it's usually not a literal beat down, but maybe a figurative beat down. Maybe they become that cynical man who's been hurt in the past, so he doesn't trust anybody. Or the loner guy who's self-absorbed because they really don't care about anyone else or they've been hurt too. Or that man who's career focused. He didn't have time for relationships or anything like that because he's driven. He's driven to succeed. He's driven to be number one. A lot of men are like that. And when they are, they miss their adventure. They miss what life is all about. Now, there's men who have other things in their life, but they're doing the same thing. They've stopped going on their own adventure. They don't know where they're going. They just kind of stop living. They're just existing. They're just surviving. You see, adventure isn't going out into the wild. It's really going on the inner journey. And that's where a lot of men miss it. What men need to do is engage and explore their full potential as men. And when they don't do that, when they just focus on the outside, they miss so much. That's why so many men aren't satisfied with life because they've stopped really living. They're just existing. Hey guys, I've got resources to help you develop and grow as a man on your adventure. They're at davidmaxwellcoaching.com. Check it out. I think they'll help you. All right, guys, the second thing we need is recognition. Men need to look at their life from an outside perspective. There's a saying that we judge people by their actions, but we judge ourselves by our intentions. Well, we need to look at our actions. We need to find ways to look openly at ourselves, to figure out what are we really doing? Not what we're thinking, not what we want to be doing, but what are we actually doing? We need to be able to really look at ourselves in that objective way to see the next move on a journey. You know, when you're looking at a map, sometimes the best way to look at the map is from above, to see where you're going, what you need to do. Sometimes when you're in there and living and driving, it's hard to look at a map because you're too busy turning and doing things like that. And a lot of men are like that in their life. They're not getting above their life and really looking down on it. What they're doing is they're just existing. They're trying to make it to Friday, to Saturday, to vacation, to whatever. And they're not really thinking about why. They're not really looking at where am I going overall in my life. So instead of looking at a map, they're just looking at the road. And if you're just looking at the road, you're missing out on really where you're going. Hey guys, check out the Confident Man podcast. It's a weekly coaching session between us where I help you live your life. I'll either talk about things or sometimes we'll have interviews with people and it's all designed to help you live your adventure. Check it out on all the podcasting platforms. Okay, guys, the third trait we need to do is we need to move. You see, our adventure is one of growth as a man. And that looks different for every man because every man is an individual and their journey is individual. Don't try to be someone else. 
Find out who you are because you, it's individualistic for you. You don't have to be another man. You can be inspired by another man. He can challenge you, but you can't be him because you're you. And if you aren't intentionally growing, if you aren't figuring out who you are and growing in that, you're declining. You see, staying busy, that's not growth. Work isn't growth. Making more money isn't growth. Success isn't growth. Growth happens in every area of our life and should happen in every area if we want to be a whole man. We have to think about how we're growing physically, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. If we're not growing in those areas, what are we doing? What are you doing to grow in those areas? You see, growth happens in life, and sometimes it happens in the struggle. Are you kind of struggling right now? That doesn't mean it's wrong or bad. Sometimes in the struggle is where you do most of your growing. So I would challenge you, think about how am I growing? What am I doing to move in the right way? All right, guys, in closing, I wanna ask you, how are you progressing as a man? Not if you're perfect. No man is perfect. And you're never gonna be perfect, but are you making progress? And if you are, how? How are you progressing physically? What are you doing to be in better shape? What are you doing emotionally, spiritually, mentally? You see, guys, you have an adventure to live, and it can be best lived when you're taking care of all four of those areas. And as you live it, you become a better man, and you live a better life. Mm -hmm.